Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Anderson with my lovely wife. Maureen, and we're so excited about the names of God that we're going Talking about the names of God again today. I hope that you can stay tuned to this because this can be so life-changing for you. We first of all say welcome to our home. We're actually filming right in our home. And we want to invite you to be part of the family this morning mm -hmm. as we talk about the nature of God. There's a scripture in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 that talks about we can become partakers of His divine and nature. nature. When we get born again, yeah. we have received Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in that position and that place, we have the nature of God available to us because it is in our born again spirit. And God desires for us to receive the fullness of God, which means that we have to receive each one of His names, which is part of His personality, His makeup. Let it flow through our soulish realm by faith and quicken our mortal body and allow that nature to live in us. Is that, Amen. That's yes, really what we're talking about. What God gave me, because for years I have been uh, quoting the names of God and, and uh, praying, praying them through and and, and but, God, yeah. but then one day the Lord said to me, those names are your names. Yes. And it was like, wait a minute, I've always saw them as his name, not a part of me. And so I began, and the Lord said these things to me. Well, what would your son say if somebody asked him what his name was? He wouldn't say my dad's name is Anderson. He'd say my name is Anderson. And so God was saying, you're my child. Those names of mine are your names. And they won't work for you if you don't receive them. And so we began our Be prayers in the morning that we receive, we spend time receiving his names and declaring them, giving glory to God, but receiving them so they might be working through our lives to produce. Yeah, the way it actually says that when we receive his names, yeah. we will be empowered to escape the corruption of this world. Called if you read that you all the way through and that's, uh, in, in Second Peter. And so this is very important for us to receive the fullness of God yes. and His nature. Today we're going to be talking about Jehovah Jireh, which is yeah. something everyone would be interested yeah. in because it, 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 His name, based on the ancient Hebrew, uh, the name Jehovah Jireh, which we all are familiar with the song that Kenneth Copeland sing. But understand that Jehovah Jireh means provision will be or shall be seen. Wow. Which means shall means that would be part of your imagination and it hasn't happened. But seen means you have already received. So you have to imagine and believe for it first and then you begin but because all provision has been yeah, provided from yeah, the foundation yeah, of time, yeah. now it's just sitting in the invisible waiting for us yeah. to see it yeah. and receive it. Yes, yes. And so it's really exciting when you're talking about this because I know we're going to be talking about Abraham and, and his moment of receiving that name, yes. Jehovah Jireh. But it was really interesting. We had gone to uh, Jesse Duplantis' conference. And when we go to these conferences, we honor the man and woman of God. And we believe that, that yes, we, we, whatever God's given us, we're, we want to be generous to freely give to wherever we go and whatever conference that we are. We are wanting to bless those that come in contact with us and bless the meetings and that. But we also know that as Paul said, that I wish to come that I might impart some gifts to you. So we go to the yeah. conferences and we pull on the anointing. And as we honor them and we're loyal, but we pull on their anointing to receive some impartation in our own lives. And we went to Jesse's uh, conference. Last uh, <laughs> yeah. July, yes. Yeah. And when we left, we had received the name Jehovah Jireh because it was all of a sudden God was now revealing it to us. And uh, you had put together a plan for our new stage that we were going to put for television. Studio for Studio. television. Studio. Yeah. And, and that, and you had the blueprint and you had it all ready to go. And we're at church and as we were walking out of church, the power of God came all over you. They had anointing covered you. And yes. then God said to you, those are your plans. They're not my plans. It was like, oh my goodness. So we sat in the car and you were under this heavy anointing. And we just were like, what just happened? Boy, exactly. <laughs> we had been planning this for a while. 
And we thought it was God. So we got home, and then we we just began to pray, and the presence of God fell again. And he said, those plans are what you, you can, can afford, afford, but they're not what I can afford. So we had to change oh, our whole thinking. Oh, my goodness. And then he gave he gave us a vision. Well, I had a vision then. All of a sudden, he, he showed me the land, and he showed me the buildings that Word for Winners would have, and that this is what he can afford. We had this little tiny... Uh, building that I we know. were going to have, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so it was really. But he neat. also spoke that while you're in this house, yeah, this uh, beautiful house. This would be. He a said, study. "Here, you got four studios yeah. you can set up right now in the in the waiting time." And Jehovah Jireh. And from then, every time we step into what we can do or what we can afford, God right is right there, and He is now mentoring us through coming into the the fullness of that name, Jehovah Jireh. Amen. He shall provide. He And so praise God. So we can, you want to That's talk right. about That's right. God has Abraham? helped us build at least three multi-million dollar corporations. We're yeah. building our fourth. We're having such a good yeah. time with Word, Word for Winners. Yeah. I'd like to read a scripture since yeah. we're going to deal with Abraham and we're going to look at how provision shall be seen. And this, yeah. is, this is the process or a yeah. process to receive all the good things and the promises that God has Given as you receive more and more of this nature, Jaira, yeah. you will experience yeah. greater and greater and greater blessings yes. flowing in your lives. Yes. And so this is uh, important for us. I think a lot of times the body of Christ hasn't really realized what it says in Ephesians or in Galatians chapter three, and starting with verse eight, and the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith. In other words, salvation was going to come to the Gentiles. Yes. Already knowledge of that God was, he preached the gospel to Abraham, who was from a foreign land, and he was from a foreign gods and all, beforehand saying, in you all nations shall be blessed, so that those who are of faith are blessed with the believing you know, and, and it's so interesting, as you say that, was that we realize then as we see that, because Ab Abram and then Abraham lived under grace. It was yeah. obvious that he was living under the life of grace. And so he had to have saw the death, burial, and resurrection yes. of Christ. Because the Bible says the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the earth. So he was able to see what was ahead because the yes. Bible says that we're able to see our future. And so he saw that, and so he was then received it. He believed it. That's what made him righteous. And uh, but then He it believed was, and received the grace yeah. that the death, burial, resurrection had already happened on yeah. his behalf, and so he trusted in God and with he his whole it. heart. Yeah, and so it was really interesting that when God visited him uh, in uh, when we see Genesis 22, and said, take thy son, thy only son, and, you know, offer him up as a burnt offering sacrifice unto me, and take him to the mountain of Mar Moriah. And so uh, he, did, he, he went on that journey. But, did you know you just quoted the whole scripture I was going to read? That's all right, go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, but, he, but <laughs> when he it. got on the journey, God said, this is the mountain. Okay, now he said to the servants, he said, we will return. Right. And then on the way up, Isaac said, uh, well, where's the sacrifice? And, and, and Abraham said, God will provide. But it was really interesting because I got a revelation this morning of this as I was praying about Jehovah Jireh was when he went, uh, had his son already uh, on, the, on the altar and ready to take the knife. And God said, you know, stop, Abraham. And... Uh, and looked there, and there was a ram, and and God, and he said the word Jehovah Jireh, God, he saw, and God provided, yes. right? Provision was there. Provision was seen. Provision was. And so yeah. what it was, the picture was that Abraham could not uh, uh, give him his son because his son was not the pure sacrifice. But that would God be Jesus. provided that was it. Be and Jesus. that was that we. Our, we can never earn our own salvation. We can't earn it because of the old sinful nature. But but the lamb was a the ram was a picture that God provided. It was a picture of Christ Jesus. He provided. Amen. And and that's in our life. That's right. 
that uh, that God, that Jesus already provided the provision for us. The most so, important part of that is, yeah. is that we can't make any form of sacrifice no. on this earth yeah. for our salvation. No, mm -mm. It, it is only what Jesus has, has provided. done provided for us. We receive it by faith. What is the works of God? The disciples asked Jesus. Jesus said, "Believe in Him." Whom he sent. Now I got to tell you the rest of okay. it. I know you want to tell no, this, but I'm I'm just real excited. Yeah, okay, I'm more. real excited. So you go back to Hebrews uh, uh, 11, 11, 18. I think it's 11, 18, 19. Yeah. And and what it says there is that when God was testing a a Abraham, and he had a covenant in Genesis uh, uh, 17 that uh, God said that Isaac would be the, the seed. And of course, that was a picture of Christ Jesus. That's right. And that kings and, and descendants would come from him. Well, I, I, you know, Isaac is just a young boy here, and he hasn't been married. He hasn't produced any children or anything else. And so it said God held on to what God, what, no, Abraham held on to what God said to him. And so then he, 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 he saw that God could actually raise Isaac from the dead. And he pictured that and he visualized that because he knew that he had to return no matter what. Isaac because yes. kings were going to come from him. And so he already visualized, you know, the, already saw it. the, the res he said that God could resurrect him. It was that total already, trust in God. Yeah. Total trust in God. And one of the scriptures uh, that is mentioned okay. in verse 4 of chapter 22 of Genesis and Abraham and he, yeah, to, he said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back. Yeah. I think that's so beautiful. I mean, he, just, he just informed the whole church there, hey, don't worry about this. We will be right back. God, God will. will provide. If we could get a hold of the kind of um, revelation here that God would like to share with you yeah. is that, in all circumstances, if you apply faith to the Word of God, God will provide. Not only will He provide your needs. Uh, the Matthew chapter 6 talks a great deal about the needs. Don't, don't, don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you're going to... Don't, don't go there because God will even clothe the, the birds and the, and, the, and the flowers in the field. He, he already will take, take care, care of your all. needs. Yeah. But he desires to meet all of your wants that yeah. line up with the word of God. Yeah. That and line up with his. He want, He is your shepherd. Uh, Psalm 23, he is your shepherd and you shall not want. Yeah, and what we get out of this is when God began to minister this name to us is that is that we make our, well, will we begin to plan what we can afford or what we can do. Yes. And, and but God says, no, no, no. It's not what you can afford, it's what I can afford. Because he already did it for us. It's already ours in the kingdom. And so it's not what you can do, it's what I've already done. And so it's coming to embrace that name, Jehovah uh, Jireh. Uh, Jireh, as our name, is that we're taking our on... Our nature. Yes, we're taking on the provision of God. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what you're taking on his nature, his personality, his, his attributes, his makeup now becomes part of you. So yeah. your heart now has expectation for much more than what we could hope or imagine because he will do more yeah. than you can hope yeah. or imagine. He can do that much more. And so with that nature in you, you, instead of your little dreams, you'll be surprised at what kind of dreams God might give you. Yeah, and they're God dreams. Because he's already provided. So it was really interesting because when I think of this name, I think about how that we're in our own provision, making our own plans. And, and, and so we're looking up to God now. Now provide the money, provide this, provide that. And God's like, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I already provided it. And so now step up into your position in me, in the kingdom as my child, and take on what I've already given you because we're an heir of God. Come on. We're That's joined exactly here right. with Christ Jesus. And so God provides. God and so it's been a journey, hasn't it? It has and it's been. it's been wonderful. We probably have used the testimony before, but we were talking about uh, during COVID what God did yeah, for did. us during 
Kova and selling houses and flipping houses yeah. and, and uh, providing because uh, provision shall be seen. Yeah. Well, suddenly our travels shut down, which have been providing for Word for Winners and traveling to churches, ministering and helping lay foundation yeah, yeah. for churches, which is what we love to do. And uh, but all that sort of income just began to cease. Of course. And uh, yeah. now we're saying, well, what do we do now, Lord? And the Lord said, do sell this house, buy that house. And we started following the Holy Spirit and the Holy okay. Spirit took us through a, a process of we made over a million dollars in nine months just uh, following the Spirit of God. So we never came up short. No, God's but always taking yeah. care of provision shall be seen, but it comes but, by faith and receiving that nature in you so that he can work that through you. Yeah, and it was really interesting to you saying that, you know, uh, Je Jehovah Jireh will, will provide because right away he gave us a plan in for Word for Winners because uh, we, we do mission work now, going out and helping churches and, and uh, uh, just bringing the Word of God. And so God said to us, okay, I want you to meditate on your tithes and your offerings and what it says is your reward in it. And so right. we were to meditate it on day and night because we weren't getting the full benefit. And so we did, and we didn't change anything about our our uh, word for winners in the sense of, of, of its marketing, any of that kind of thing. We just, we just put our faith into meditating on what he said to do. And I mean, we we tripled in income in, in without the travels, and we didn't get anything from the government either. It was yes, God, it was. but God, Holy but God. God did it because Jehovah Jireh will provide. Well, that's exactly yeah. right. And so, getting a hold of it by faith it is all of these names come by faith. Yes. In believing, first of all, that when you got born again, you received all of these names or his nature and his attributes, which live in your spirit realm, yeah. born again spirit realm. Yes. But getting them to the fullness of your flesh has to pass by faith through the processing plant, your yeah. soul, living soul. So uh, it is, comes down to faith in order to receive any and all of them. I, I used the testimony uh, uh, just oh, a few okay, weeks ago, and you can go back and listen on YouTube to all of the other names that we've done thus far and a little yeah. more foundations. I just don't like to do a whole lot of repetition, yeah. but also to give you insight that, you know, we had received uh, Elohim, which is great and mighty strength. And when I had a vision from the Lord, he said, here's all the strength you'll ever need. And so he flooded me and filled me. Now I'm 77 years old and I still have the same kind of energy I had at 40. So he can, when that nature gets in you, oh, yeah, you it see. lasts for an eternity. Of course, it's going Because the Bible also of... says it's the names that those in heaven, this is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18 or 19, the names that 15. are his names are what happens in heaven and on earth. In other words, those that have gone on before us are still living by these natures. Yeah. Yeah. These natures are part of heaven. Well, anyway, what I was really thinking oh. about as we talked about Jehovah Jireh right here mm -hmm. is that, uh, first of all, we have to know, step back and see how God runs his universe. How does he, he run things? And so it talks about how the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the earth. So before anything began, he imagined imagined Christ Jesus because he already, that was plan B, because he already knew Adam and Eve were going to, to blow it. And, uh, but so first we see, and that's what the book, the Habakkuk says, you know, it says, uh, verse two of uh, chapter two, verse two and three says, write down the vision, make it plain on tablets that they can run with it. And it goes on to say, though, you know, and it, it, it will surely happen. Though right. it carry, wait for it because it will happen. And so that's, that's paraphrasing it. And so thinking and stepping back, first of all, most people don't have a plan. They don't have a goal. They don't have That's a vision. That's true. Yeah. And we, no vision. But God has already fulfilled our destiny. When he, he wrote a book upon us before we were born. So he wrote our destiny down. And then in the Bible, one translation says in Ephesians that he already accomplished his plans and purpose in his heart, that, that they are. So he provides. Right. Provision is provision seen even seen. in our destiny. Amen. And so first God had a vision. And so we need to have a vision. Then yes. he wrote it down. Yes, he wrote the Bible. We need to write our vision down. Then we need to have a vision board. 
because God That's had so then Abra- Abraham and Isaac uh, 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 now act out <laughs> the, the revelation, the vision that was in God's heart and his imagination. And so we have our vision board. This is it. And uh, we have a big board, but then we have this that we can travel with. Uh, when we pray, we, we take it with us wherever. It's all over the every room. It's just everywhere that we'll look at it and declare our vision. And then have a plan. Right. Have a plan. You let the Holy Spirit give you a plan because God had a plan. And we need to activate it. God's plan was the birth of Christ Jesus. And, yes. and had him you know, come and live his life on this earth and show us what the Father looked like. Because when we see Jesus, we saw the Father, the loving, the That's merciful, the kind, the says, healing yeah. God. That's and right. then, yeah, then the death, bill, and resurrection happened, and he went into glory, and now he's seated at the right hand of the Father God, Christ Jesus, and we're seated with him with all power. So the vision be- then becomes visible in our lives. And so that's how God runs the universe. That's how we need to run our lives. Absolutely. Uh, It is uh, the power of receiving these names so that they become part of our nature. What's really important about it is when we accept more and more of His nature in our flesh for here on earth, the more of the promises we'll experience, but also the goodness of God begins to flow through us because each one of His natures are connected to His goodness. Oh, yeah. And His goodness, then He can get to us what He can get through us. So if He can mm-hmm. get it into your flesh, then goodness is what we begin to act out on this earth where people become a little more important than ourselves, where where we actually utilize yeah. our, our sources, yeah. resources wisely as yeah. we build our families yeah. in the Word, build yeah. our children in the yeah. Word, and, and it, which is all exciting for us because yeah. our two sons now are, are taking over the church and yeah. our grandchildren are now yeah. working in the church leading worship in a lot of departments. And so we're seeing that sowing in, so, and giving in to our, uh, okay. into our families, the yeah. power, uh, it's yeah. just like provision shall be seen. It's provision has happened for the generations to come in the church. Yeah. It's awesome. That's true. Beautiful. Yeah, so I would really uh, say here that we need to enter into the Jehovah Jireh, His provision that's already ours. And, and praise God. I just have a few words that I received today for healing during our prayer time. And one is that somebody's having a problem that's watching or uh, with your nose. It's like a feeling like a one side, the left side of the nostril is like a dry socket. And God has healed that. Amen. In Jesus and then, name, thank you, Lord. So just Believe. receive thank your you, healing Lord. right now in Jesus' name. And then there's somebody here that's having a little problem with your shoulder area, your left shoulder area, where there's a pain in that. And and God right now just healing that situation, no matter what. Pain the, leaves the, in the, Jesus' the name. Pain has to leave. And then there's a stomach that you may be having pain in your stomach and you're concerned about it. God said, just receive that. I've healed your stomach. I've healed your shoulder, I healed your stomach, and I healed your nose. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. And if you've never received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we want to make sure you get that taken care of today, too. Yeah, yeah. And, but we want them to also receive that name, Jehovah Jireh. Well, pray that, that for them Yes, right that, that now you reach out for where you've been so busy trying to make uh, your plans and your provisions and and somehow just begging God to provide for it or pay for it or do all that, that day is over because He's already has provision. So your faith is in not what you can afford, and uh, but it is what God has already provided for you, what He can afford. And so whatever it is in your life, He's already fulfilled every, you know, it's already fulfilled it in your life. And so the kingdom of God is within you and provision is everything you need has already been provided for you so let's just pray right now father god right now where they have been stuck in their own works and their own provisions and uh and their vision is too small because it's what they can afford or what they can do right now in the name of jesus would they say nope i'm done with that in the name of Jesus and God. So, so free them of that that uh, way of thinking. And right now, Father God, they receive your name, Jehovah Jireh, 
as theirs, that mm-hmm. God, you provide, you shall provide because it is seen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If you've never received Christ as Lord and Savior, we want to give you an opportunity to receive Him right now. Just pray this prayer right there where you're at. Just take a few moments and repeat these words after me and your life will change. I'm telling you something will happen in your heart and you will never be the same. And I'm not talking about becoming religious, so just cast that aside. I'm talking about learning to live by the truth of the Word of God. That's all it is. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Here's your opportunity. Repeat these words right now, right where you're at. Dear Father God, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sin. And I ask you, dear Jesus, come into my life, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer with with us today, you need to let somebody know that you have. You need to get into a good truth teaching church, get connected to it, and you need to stay tuned. We're going to continue talking yeah. about all of the names of God. And we got this great book that you put together. It's yeah. thick and it's confession. Go ahead and tell them a little bit yes. about it. This book is, of course, uh, Jesse and, and uh, Jerry Seville uh, Jesse wrote the foreword of it. Yes, Jesse DePlanis. And they, they just say it's, it's a great book. And so this book has the names of God in it, but it also has your blessings in it. It has your uh, uh, promises of God. It has things Confession like- over your marriage, yeah, and, and scripture prayers, yes. Oh my. And so it has all these things- Arm, Putting on the you, armor of God in there? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then, yeah. And so the desires of your heart are in here. And so I really encourage you get this. Just read a little bit about what, uh, 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 let me see. Jerry Seville said, releasing miraculous is, is completely wonderful, absolute, definite, must be for believers. I believe this will be a powerful tool for enabling believers to become more conscious of their place in Christ and all the benefits uh, of it. Oh, I love this that. That's what Jerry, awesome. Dr. Jerry Seville said. And so... Oh, praise God. God bless you. God we bless love you. you. Thanks for joining the family today. Yeah. The Word for Winners will be back again. We'll look for you then. God bless you. Your words are either opening doors or closing doors in your life. Peace, happiness, health, and wealth. They all come from faith in God's Word. It's time to open the door to the life you desire. It's time to discover the power in Releasing Miracles by Speaking God's Word by Dr. Maureen Anderson. Find this resource and more at thewordforwinners.com.